Hello, I'm Reverend Olufolakeiki, and this is Proverbs of the Day. I'm taking my Proverbs from Proverbs chapter 18, and I'll start reading from verse 4. I want to read a message translation, which says, Many words rush along like rivers in flood, but deep wisdom flows up from artisan springs. Hmm. Verse 6 says, the words of a fool start fights. Do him a favor and gog him. Fools are undone by their big mouth. Their souls are crushed by their words. I love this proverb because it keeps talking about, you know, your mouth, your words. Verse 20 says, Words satisfy the mind as much as fruits does the stomach. Good talk is as gratifying as a good harvest. Note verse 21. Words kill. Words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. Words kill and words give life. I don't know what you like to say, but you need to start watching what he say. There is no joke when it comes to words. If you believe in God, you'll know that the Bible says the world was created by the word of God. And Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28 says, Say unto them, God speaking, as long as I live, whatever I hear them say, that will I do. Numbers 14, 28. Whatever you say, God is compelled to do it. You need to begin to gag yourself. When negative things come through your mind, make sure you deal with those things before they come out of your mouth. No wonder the Bible says, let the weak say, I am strong. It's not that you're not weak. God is just teaching a principle that you need to say what you want to see and not what you are saying. I know you're going through stuff, but if you begin today to begin to negate them, just keep saying what you want to say. For faith, collect those things that be not as though they were. The very reason why God had to change the name of Abraham to Abraham was because he needed him to believe that he's going to be a father of many nations. He wanted people to keep saying it. And the more they say, the more he hears it, the more they ask of his name. And he tells people, I'm Abraham. He's telling them, I'm the father of many nations. Even though he did not have a child at the moment, God was, you know, using those words to create in his life his desires. What is it that you're believing God for? It's high time you began speaking them forth. Just the way God spoke forth and things came to be. I know you feel, oh, it will look like I'm telling a lie. Now, what I'm saying is there are always facts, but you need to switch the frequency of faith. It's very important for you to say good things about yourself, say good things about your kids, say good things about your spouse, say good things about your situation, about your boss, about your circumstance. I know that they don't look good. I know that they are not even good, but you know what? It's time to recreate things around you. It's time to speak to your storehouse. It's time to speak to your bank account. It's time to speak to your job. It's time to begin to see yourself as good. It's time to see yourself as beautiful. When people ask you, how are you? Stop telling them things like you're managing or you don't even know what you're doing. No, begin to say things that you want to see. I know a lot of people say negative things because they're looking for sympathy. You won't get it. What you're going to get is, a kind of pity that makes you look smaller than God made you. You're bigger than that. I don't care what people think when you say what is positive. You know, don't think, okay, well, if I now say exactly, you know, 
the opposite of what I'm feeling. They may not help me. Your help does not come from men. Your help comes from God. He's the one that will cause the heart of men to give to you. Live your life pleasing God and leave men out of it. Live your life, you know, staying on the word of God. Live your life doing what the word of God says. And you'll be amazed that your life will begin to turn around for the good, the better, and the best. That is my prayer for you today. Remember, a proverb a day will drive out stupidity out of your life. Gag your mouth and stop saying things you don't want to see any longer in your life. God bless you.